President William Ruto finds himself in a tricky situation caught between bringing down the government's expenditure and meeting the interests of those who help him ascend to power. The problem will be specifically compounded this, especially compounded this month as he is expected to name persons of the, of the post of CAS whose retention has been challenged in court. The CAS positions are part of President Ruto's scheme to reward some of his allies who played an instrumental role in his victory and are here to land any plum jobs. The return of CAS is aimed at gaining more wiggle room in their appointments as Sharon Chepchumba reports. President William Ruto finds himself in a tricky situation caught between bringing down the government expenditure and meeting the interests of those who help him ascend to power. The problem will be especially compounded this month as he is expected to name persons to the next of Chief Administrative Secretary CAS whose retention has been challenged in court. If they do so tomorrow when they are wronged and they go to court, they would have participated in perpetuating a culture of impunity and disregard to court orders. The Public Service Commission, PSC, went ahead and invited applications and has defended the position before the High Court. I told you and I will still insist that the PSC is a professional and independent institution that have carried out uh, interviews and uh, the best man or woman will emerge from these interviews and uh, whether you supported Kenya Kwanza or supported the other political outfit. President Ruto has already named 22 cabinet secretaries, made four cabinet level appointments and nominated 51 principal secretaries, nine more than his predecessor Uru Kenyatta. Taxpayers will fork out 412 million shillings in salaries over the next five years for the nine extra PAS position. The PAS will also draw more money in housing, travel and entertainment allowance, medical cover and other peaks. Dr. Ruto's 22 cabinet secretaries will gamble up 23 million every month in salaries for the next five years. They will also enjoy other payments in form of housing, travel and entertainment allowances, medical cover and other peaks. CAs will also be entitled to allowances similar to those of cabinet secretaries, hence increasing the government wage bill. First and foremost, let me welcome. While President Kenyatta had 61 embassies and consultants around the world, President Ruto has increased the number to 66, meaning the budget of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs will shoot up. The position of CAS, which was introduced by former President Uru Kenyatta four years ago, has previously been given to election losers and establishment allies. I have decided to establish a new position in government, the position of Chief Administrative Secretary in all our ministries. The PAS appears to have ignored the court orders, suspending the establishment of the position of CAS and instead encouraged Kenyans to apply. This implies that since it is the head of state who requested the agency to create this job, he seems to be under a lot of pressure to reward political cronies. Let me say this for the record, that Kenya can only be better if we become a country of the rule of law. Any other, any other um, route leads to anarchy and confusion. So I ask all of us as Kenyans, we are all equal before the law and before our constitution. And therefore, there must never be the case of the animal farm where there are people who are more equal than others is that anything and everything that had been raised by the court of law which had declared those positions unconstitutional need to be addressed at this particular time now if there is the issue of uh, consultations with the public if there is the issue of public participation all those governance issues that are there need to be addressed and need to be handled as long as there's a desire to defeat the provisions of the constitution then one will always try and go around it and i think that's what the public service commission is doing all this we are doing because of the should i call it 
the desire to accommodate as many people within the national executive as possible. And that, as a matter of principle, is against the spirit of the constitution. President Ruto has rewarded individuals who contributed to his win, but some lieutenants are counting on being selected for CAS and ambassador positions after missing out on cabinet roles. They include United Democratic Alliance Chairman Johnson Muthama, former Mumia's East Member of Parliament Benjamin Washali, former Soy Member of Parliament Caleb Kositang, former Migori Governor Okotho Bado, and former Kakamega Senator Cleophas Malala. For Maisha Prime, I'm Sharon Chepchumba.